Hey you guys, this is Mr. Sal. We're going to go ahead and solve this problem. We have an equation and we just got to figure out which of these is the solution to the equation. So I've rewritten the equation here and what I can do now is just replace the x with these values and see which of these is correct. So the first one I'm going to start with is 12. So I replace x with 12 as you can see here and I add 12 and 4 which gives me 16. So the question is, does negative 8 equal 16? This one is false, which also means that 12 is not a solution to this problem. Now we can continue by replacing this negative 2 with x, replacing the x with negative 2, negative 2 plus 4, that would give us a positive 2. So we have 8 equals negative two, uh, 2. No, this is false. So it looks like negative 2 also is not a solution. Now let's go ahead and try negative 32. So I'm replacing x with negative 32. Negative 32 plus 4 is a negative 28. Well, does negative 8 equal negative 28? That is false. So we're going to take out that negative 32 as well. It is not a solution. Next up is this negative 4. Let's replace x with negative 4. Negative 4 plus 4 is 0. So does negative 8 equal 0? No, it does not. So that is false. We'll cross that one out as well. And the final value we need to check is negative 12. So negative 12 plus 4 is negative 8. Does negative 8 equal negative 8? Yes, it does. That's true. So it looks like our only answer in this set is negative 12. Now, some of you guys probably already figured this out, but yes, we could have used the inverse operation in order to solve for x instead of testing all of those numbers. So when we do that, this is plus 4, so I would subtract 4 from both sides. And I would get x equals a negative 12, which is what we found as well.